Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings and it's spring and it's time to start planting up our planters. So I'm gonna start off the spring by planting up one of my own. And the pot that I'm using here, this is a Crescent self-watering planter and they're really quite slick. I'm gonna show you how they work. So this part here, these I actually I used them last year so I'm reusing them. But this part here is a water reservoir and there's a little hole about halfway up so that way when it gets um, to that point the water will spill out that way it doesn't hold too much water um, but basically this container here can go about a week between needing to refill it uh, with water for your plants this here you can see those little legs there's little holes slits in the legs and that is where the the soil absorbs the water and takes it up to your plants so this is really nice it just sets right in there like so. And you can see that I already have the potting soil in the container, so it's all ready to go here. Uh, this year what I'm doing for this particular planter is I'm doing a mix of geraniums, superbells, I'm going to use some um, euphorbia, and then also some of the mini vistas. So the geraniums I'm using, this is Americana Violet Ice. And when I saw that blooming out in the greenhouse, I thought that was the most beautiful color geranium. Uh, so I thought, you know what, that's going to go in this big planter here. And I'm kind of a purple girl, so we're also mixing it in with some of the Superbell's Grape Punch. And I love the Grape Punch because they have really huge flowers and that really nice dark eye there. And I think that's going to look really pretty with that pink. In addition, I'm adding in a little bit of the Euphorbia Diamond Frost. And this is just a really an airy, wispy type plant. And this is going to kind of hang out on the top of the geranium. The geranium will get taller, but this is just going to kind of fill in around the top of the plant. And then for my last trailer, this here is the Super Tunia Mini Vista White. And this is going to go really nice with the Super Bells as it trails over the edge of the pot. So I think, you know, the pink, the purple, and the white will look really pretty together and really make a pop here in this planter. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what I'm going to do is I basically have three of each plant that's going in here. When I first started planting this out, I had three geraniums, three of the diamond frost, and three of the grape punch. But then I thought, you know what, that's not going to be enough to fill out this big planter. So then that's where I added in two more geraniums for a total of five, and along with um, three of the mini Vista white super tunias. So let's go ahead and get this baby planted up. I may not need this many geraniums, but I really want the geranium to be the main focus of this pot. So we're gonna make them work. So I'm gonna just kind of plan out the next part here because now I'm really thinking I may have too many plants, but I'm gonna just set them on top just to kind of get a feel for what it's gonna look like. And then before I plant them, I'll decide if I do have too many. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stagger, kinda of go every other with these plants. All right, so I have one extra. And I think it's because I didn't put a white one in here. Um, you know what, we're gonna make room for it because I'm a pretty symmetrical person and things gotta kinda be in order. All right, so this is going to be a very packed full planter, but I think that's gonna be okay because it's got a lot of soil volume so it can be able to handle all the roots and such that are gonna go um, into this plant. If you are planting this yourself and you're like, holy cow, Heidi, like I can't afford to put that many plants in my planter, that's okay. You can pare it down a bit because it will fill out and it will you know, look really nice. Um, if you wanted to pare yours down a bit, I would probably go three geraniums and then just go two each of the Superbells, Supertunia, and the Diamond Frost. 
but I really want this to be a really huge statement type planter, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack mine really full. Almost done. All right, so we have it all nicely planted up. And basically the look I was going for is the geraniums. They're gonna be the thriller in the container. We're gonna have the diamond frost. That's gonna be the filler. It's gonna kinda of hang out around the top here. And then we've got the super tunias and the super bells, and those are gonna be the spillers to spill over the side of the container. So I can't wait to watch this uh, fill out. One thing I am going to point out to you that I'm going to do right now though, is because this doesn't have to be ready until probably like another two months, I'm gonna let it fill out in the greenhouse. I am gonna go ahead and snip these flowers off because I want the energy right now to go into these geraniums to bulk them up and get them nice and big. So don't be afraid to snip the flowers off if it's early season and you want to bulk those plants up. So we'll be snipping these off shortly after we do some pictures, but basically I'm going to show you how to do it on one. And you take the, the flower bud here, you go all the way down into the base of the plant there and you can just kind of snip it off like so. And then that's going to help that plant really thicken up and get really nice looking and a lot fuller for the summer. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings.